Since 2020, Germany decided to change its system and choose their representative internally. To be honest, I'm gonna miss our old national selection. Where else could we find songs that we will never look back to in happiness? Songs that should have won. <laughs> Lily. And songs which make you rethink your existence. Hey, this song kind of slaps. What's up, my juicy noodle? It's Ren here. Today, we are gonna react and rate this year's ECRD from my country, Germany. Today's phrase of the day is Jetzt geht's um die Wurst. This literally means something like now it's about the sausage and means something like now it's getting serious no it's not about conchita wurst this year's representative is called jentrik with a song i don't feel hate it is worthy to mention that i know already the song but re-watching it gives me more time to pay attention to more details and helps me to express my opinion more okay let's start directing to i don't feel hate i'm feeling kind of sorry because there's a lot of dislikes on this video and it starts at a laundromat Wash your worries away. I wish it was that easy. I like that Jentrik produced this music video by himself. I mean, he had help, obviously, but he came up with the music video idea and also wrote the song by himself. Something is happening. So Jentrik is getting shoved by a thin penis. Ah, the thin penis has finally achieved to push them into the center. Yeah, what the fuck, that's the reaction of Eurovision fans who have seen this video. I mean, not all, but some. Yeah, it starts like a typical cliche, happy, cheerful song. I really like the transition where the, where the wash machines, they had like four coming out of them. And I have to admit, the drop. I like that, it's not bad. But the drop sounded very noisy. There were like a lot of instruments playing at the same time. But I mean... The music video is still funny, but it's just very... How do I put this? A bit childish? What the hell is even going on? Oh yes, put that torn condom on his face. <laughs> Cake out of the washing machine, why not? Okay, that part is interesting. He's keep getting higher and higher and higher and higher. This is like a random compilation of so many random scenes. Well, this is far different than Bandolage. I mean, tap dancing, why not? <laughs> Even rewatching it, it still makes me feel so confused. <laughs> yeah, random German talking during the song, why not? Help me. This song is so quirky. It's. Ah, <laughs> it's kind of irritating. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably my favorite part, the drop, but oh my god, this song is so confusing. <laughs> the beginning of the music video kind of reminded me from Iceland last year, where all the people sat there and were like, what the fuck is happening? But this one seems like a cheaper version. Okay, the music video was definitely something else. <laughs> I get that including different people with different problems is a good topic to talk about, but this video was like... Oh, we have different people with different cultures and personalities. Let's try to put all these problems and kind of stereotypes together in one video. In a few minutes. And yeah, it feels all very pushed and rushed and very cliche-like. But I will try to differentiate the music video from the song. Because we will obviously not see the music video in the performance. Or will we? Please not. Okay, so what do I like about the song? Good question. As I said, it has a catchy chorus. I especially like the parts where he sings quickly and talks about the middle finger. Finland will like that this year, but these parts are definitely most stuck in my head. What I dislike is that the verses sound like every other happy cliche song. If I think of a cheerful happy song, then a song like this would come up to my mind first. You know what, just to show you what I mean, I will just type in YouTube, happy, cheerful, ukulele. Happy and fun background music, upbeat ukulele. Let's be honest, it really sounds similar to Yandrik's song, doesn't it? And this is why I like the chorus, because it sounds slightly different than the usual shit. When the interesting step dance comes to an end, he continues with the chorus. I don't feel hate, <laughs> etc. And I think this would have been way better 
if he started with the drop instead. Because I think this is the strongest part of the song. This kind of carries the song quality a lot. So instead of singing I don't feel the drop of the trumpets and the other 25 instruments should play again, which sort of creates this explosion effect. And I think this would be a better build up for Eurovision. Nevertheless, there's maybe more to discover in the lyrics and meaning. Interpretation with Ray. I really have to say, the lyrics are sweet. Obviously, it deals with hate not bothering you. Though the lyrics are often repetitive, there are two parts which really caught my attention. In the beginning of the second verse, he sings, I really don't mind to be your rival. 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 Mm, scratch time, I need it. Cause for your kind, it's essential for survival. And that's definitely true. I'm sure most of you know the term feeding the troll on the internet. And that's what he means. If you get angry and attack haters back with unnecessary trolling comments, and then the troll will just feed on it. The second part which I like even more is the bridge. There he sings, I guess you need patronization as some kind of validation. You won't cope with the frustration that your random me fixation is another uh, is another affirmation that you're just a hateful person who's not really better than me. Haters often try to gain energy by consuming others' energy. Pretty much like a vampire. And this makes them feel valid and better. The best way to deal with haters is to simply ignore or block them. I also like the words he used in the part. That's definitely better than saying sisters for the hundredth time in the song. <laughs> Let's move on to the rating. As always, we have three jury groups. Myself, five of my closest friends who have nothing to do with Eurovision, and you cuties. If you want to be part of the jury group as well, then you can simply check out my Instagram where you can see the stories where I post regularly polls. Why do I keep talking so fast? Out of breath. <gasps> Me, Instagram, post stories. Polls, you vote, next duration videos. <gasps> Everyone is welcome. Also, why did Germany not send this banger? In my opinion, this song is not bad, but it definitely has its weaknesses. It is catchy, it is not sounding the same the whole time, and it delivers cute lyrics and meaning. But the song has parts in it where it sounds like a mess. And the part where he randomly spoke German? What was that about? I wish he spoke German in at least one of the parts of the song. When was the last time we had a Eurovision entry from Germany which was actually in German? I mean, we could have had the chance in 2015, but someone decided to choose differently. In addition, as I said, this song sounds pretty similar to other happy Yas, my life is so great, Yas queen, um, more Yas songs. But I think he managed to convey the message of a song better than most happy songs. Definitely also because he just seems like a super nice guy. He has very high charisma. In general, this song is for me very hard to rate because this song is even more staging and performance dependent. I think it could even skyrocket to the top 10 if it has a brilliant staging. A good example for that is Moldova in 2018. Their song was nice, not so bad, but their staging was absolutely astonishing. Or it could fail horribly, like UK in 2015. What the fuck? Furthermore, I've seen not really nice comments towards Yendrik, and I want to tell everyone that they shouldn't do that. He seems like a really nice guy who genuinely enjoys Eurovision. So don't hate him because you dislike his song. He's not offending anyone with the song. He's trying to do the whole opposite. With that said, here's my rating for the song I Don't Feel Hate. It's a cute song with a good drop, but still has weaknesses. 6.5 stars. My closest friends who are all German did unfortunately not like this song. They thought it was too much of a cliche and weak. They gave it 4.3 stars. And last but not least, you cuties. Your opinion is pretty clear. You seem to either love or hate it. <laughs> ESC X Weird ST. Wow, that's really a tongue twister and sounds good. 8. Because it's weird and positive and cheesy, just like me. Ollie says too, only redeeming quality is the coolness of the singer. 
but I hate this more than Denmark 20. I guess he means 2020. Why would you hate Ben and 10 though? Say yes, say yes. Purple Stardust Prinkles, also a very amazing name, says. Seven, I don't even know. I feel like trying to process. The entry broke my brain, but in a good way. Yes, it's super noisy. EC.Reykjavik says. This is just unlistenable. I don't know how it actually won a selection process. At least he's amazing. In case you didn't know, Yendrik won with really a great result. He was like in a very, very lead. Seal says, nine, he really moves me and mein Arsch. Yes. As you see, the opinions are very split. Just like Arsch. You guys give the song I Don't Feel Hate 5.2 stars. And this, this is not enough to beat off our current queen, ba 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 Barbara, off the throne with an amazing high score of 8.1 points. Well, 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 our entry. I don't think that this year we'll be hearing zero, zero points. points. Please, not again. Let me know what you think about the song Fallen Angel. Oh my god, why is it still Fallen Angel? No, 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 bad ran. Let me know what you think about the song. Why am I keep forgetting his song name? Okay, bye. Woo! <laughs>